All right, my friends, we are back at the Sheriff's Ranch thrift store. So hopefully we're going to find some good stuff in here for you to flip for a profit. Let's go look. All right, so we are starting in the back looking at the golf clubs. I did look at these last time I was here, so I was really just peeking to see if there were any new ones, but I didn't see any new ones. I left this in because I want you guys to see all of the big stuff they have here. If you have big stuff at your thrift store and your Facebook Marketplace Local is popular, I would check out the big stuff when you're at the thrift store because you might be able to make some quick local flips for cash. We are checking out the picture frames again. I love that print, but unfortunately it wasn't signed. And with those, I try and find ones that are signed. Even if they're, you know, reproduction prints, it's a little bit easier to sell them if you have a name. This was really, really pretty, but I wasn't sure how well that would really sell. Same thing with this pewter frame. Some of them only go for about $10. That's something I could have picked up looking back, but I decided to leave it there. And these little Hummel prints, I will tell you guys in my experience, Hummel prints don't sell well. That was a really nice frame they were in, but at $10, it was just a little too much. And I love these paintings. They were absolutely gorgeous. And look in the back. There was a Egyptian papyrus print. I'm blocking it with the other frame. That frame looked old. I almost got that frame. But that papyrus print in the back was $15. But then, these are beautiful. They are vintage frames with glass. They are oval and they only cost $2. I think these should sell for about $25 to $30 each. Possibly $40 to $50 for the pair. I have sold several ones like that. So that is our first pickup of the day. And again, leaving all this in, look at all this furniture. So if I eventually get through my death pile, I might look at picking up some pieces of furniture. I had to show this beautiful Lane Cedar chest with all the original paperwork. It was 250, but that is just an absolutely beautiful piece of furniture. So I thought I would share with you. All right, knickknack shelves. Let's see what we can find. And the green tags today, I believe, are 20% off. So keep that in mind as we are picking up stuff. If it is a green sticker or tag, it is 50% off. That bell kind of caught my eye, but it wasn't a bell. It was a bell that wasn't a bell. I guess it was just a decorative bell that you can't ring. I really like this. I'm not sure. I felt like it should have a bottom. Or maybe it was to go over candles. I'm not really sure. And if you see, the Amberina hat is still sitting there. This looks like Mickey to me. It's probably not Mickey. It just says China, but it looked like Mickey ears. And I was looking at the Amberina hat to see if it had a green sticker. I knew it was priced high, but I was hoping it was a green sticker so that I could get a discount. But it did not have a green sticker. Those fish are pretty cool. Those are a little more modern though. So we are going to keep on moving along. And the funny thing this day, I am actually going backwards. I wanted to show you guys this picture. It was $10. It would probably resell for about 30. So not enough room for me to put into a thrift box, but it felt weird going, I'm going backwards this day. I'm starting on the opposite aisle of what I normally do. Tell me if you guys have a routine you normally do. This was a really cool lusterware piece. It was on sale for three, but I just didn't feel it. Um, I don't know what this basket is, but it was 50 cents. And I feel like somebody would buy it, so I put it in the basket. Whoever gets that has to research what the heck animal that is. That little basket just felt cheaply made. That shape tends to do well, but it felt cheaper. The shell bookends are $5. They are brass. I think they'll sell for about 20. So again, I'm trying to make it where you guys make three to five times your money. And that was just a little high. This princess house, 
I did not comp this. I did after the fact. It was marked $3, and I'm glad I put it back because it was not worth the $3. It probably would sell for about $7 to $9. Not very much. What else do we see? I spy some cool glasses up top. They were $15 for the set, though. And shipping those to you and you shipping them would probably be... A little bit of a pain. All right. We peek at the glass and the coffee cups because if there is something expensive, I will pick it up for you. But I didn't see anything. So this is their little mini health and beauty section. These sprays kind of look cool. It's like they were stainless steel spray bottles. But when I picked them up, they were pretty lightweight. I was hoping they were like a heavier, nicer made. So when you guys see stuff like this basket, dig through it. I did not find anything this day. I will go ahead and spoil it. But a lot of times you can find expensive stuff hidden, thrown in baskets. And again, check the top, check the bottom. There's the Belvedere ice bucket still sitting there. And I'm just kind of perusing because I was just here last week. So I've seen most of this and I just want to see if there's anything new. These cups, if they had been like Pioneer Woman or something like that, would have been a decent deal. Those little sauce cups do tend to sell pretty well, if they are the right brand. And we're just going to see what we see. So over here last week, there was something that comped out expensive and it is now gone. I was sad. Um, this Denby, this is a pizza plate. It was made in England. That's what kind of caught my eye. So I am going to look this up. Anything made in England or Portugal or France or Italy, I tend to look up. So there were some other ones listed for $29.99, but when I looked at sold, there were none listed. So I did decide to leave that one behind. And you know, we look at the silverware. I'm not digging through. Some days I will dig through. It honestly depends on my mood. And this day I was not feeling digging through the silverware. This was my first stop of the day this day. So I didn't want to take super long because I had four stores I was planning to go to. And I just didn't want to spend forever in the first store. So, all right. I have not been in a plush mood lately. I don't know if you guys have seen, um, this little bear was five. I just kind of looked over and was over the plush. And again, it happens, you know, that's the cool thing about reselling is that you can switch what you're looking at and buying and flipping if you get bored with something and move on to something else. And that is exactly what I'm doing. So the store hobbies custom ceiling thing, I did look that up. It was not worth very much. All right. So there's some diapers. And then I look over and see this. If you guys are not familiar, these are colostomy supplies and they are very expensive. So they had these priced at $2 each. They are very, very easy to comp. There's a number there on the box, 12039. These are $2 and they sell for $25 and they tend to sell fast. There were two boxes and I did make sure they were sealed, which is perfect. And they were not expired. And then these are the actual part that attaches and these are individually sealed inside. So I was counting them because that was originally a box of 10. It is now a box of five. And I am going to, again, look up that number. If you see the reference number, it's 413418. And 10 of them sell for $53. So for five, they should sell for $25 to $30. The sell-through rate was absolutely amazing. And these are medical supplies, but they do not require a prescription. The big thing when you are looking at these is you want to make sure you do not see an RX on the box because thrift stores will still put it out for sale, 
but you can get banned and even possibly lose your eBay account if it says RX on it. Do not list it. All right, this is some deodorizing liquid. So I put in Hollister M9. You can see these comps were for two ounces. We're gonna go look at solds. We did have the bigger eight ounce bottle. And if you see there, three bottles sold for $45 free shipping. So now I'm looking at the bottles and basically I wanna get the best three. I believe there were five of them. I didn't get them all because I believe one of them felt lighter and I felt like there was some missing, but I did find this one and then back here in the back, there were actually three more and that one was kind of all icky. So this one and then that final one back there in the corner was unopened and th that made three. So I paid $6, you will pay 12, but it should be into $40 pretty fast. Now I did look up this elastic barrier strips. I actually have not ever used these things. So they were $2 I was looking at them. I was kind of curious because I'm not familiar. But again, there is an RX number on these. So we are going to put that in. It's 120700 And these look like they sell for about $20 to $22. And so I picked those up. Now, this is another thing I'm not familiar with. If you see, I hit the camera and then I scan the UPC. These only sell for about $10. I was looking at the solds and there were only two. So we did decide to leave those. And then there was also this stoma adhesive. I know if you're not medical, it doesn't matter. Scan the UPC and these sell for about 12 free shipping. And it looked like when I went to the solds that most of the ones people got were like packs of two and three. And there was only one of these there, unfortunately. So that one I did decide to put back. All right, and now these are like tools and just miscellaneous household stuff. Again, how much I dig depends on my mood. Now I will tell you guys, some vintage vacuum bags sell very high. So I am going to scan these. And unfortunately there were none listed. So I went to sold. There were none sold and I did not research them further. I put them back. If they're really popular, I probably would have found some, but definitely check if you see vintage vacuum bags. I've sold some for up to $30 for a pack and they typically are not priced high at thrift stores and garage sales. So those are another great thing to be on the lookout for. And again, not in a digging mood. <laughs> We're going to go around the corner and see if we see anything in the linen and the toys. And some of these sets are nice, but again, with double shipping, just not really, they don't make sense for me to pick up when I know I'm, I'm reselling them to you and I'm going to have to pay for the shipping or you, you will pay for the shipping. Doesn't make them cost effective. I was kind of on the fence about those yellow placemats, but I decided not to get them. And then I think this was a table runner. It might've been a little rug. Um, but I believe they wanted nine for that. So I did leave that there. And now we're going to see what we see in the blankets. And what is this? A Christmas throw. And then there's a Christmas purse and they're attached. And they're only $3, $3 for a throw blanket and a Christmas purse. We are in Q4. Christmas is coming. We picked those up. I always eyeball the yarn to see if I see any expensive looking yarn, but I did not see any that day. I did have to stop and pick up the stuff that I, I knocked off of the shelf earlier, so I put that back. So yeah, I'm really happy with this because a purse will probably go for 15 to 20 and the tapestry, depending on the print, could go up to like 50 or more dollars. So those were some really, really great finds. And we are checking out the toys. I don't know why I'm checking them out. I really don't know that much about them. But this caught my eye. This is Tony Hawk skateboard ramp. And it says for tech decks. So we are going to look that up. So here I'm going to go to sold. 
and these ramps actually sell decent so keep your eye out for these two sold for 25 i think they had them priced at 250 each but unfortunately they were so big if i had to ship them they would be an oversized box and just not profitable after the shipping expense so we left those there but keep your eye out for tony hawk tech deck stuff it looks like it does very well and if you could find it in a lot with some skateboards it would do very well i always check out the baskets because there are some baskets worth money if i was picking up for me i would have picked up that little bassinet basket but again it's another oversized item and just would not make sense and then this barrington doll was super cute with the little dog the dog was named Fifi. It was Gigi and Fifi. So we are going to look this up. And Barrington is the brand. And then on the tag it said Gigi and Fifi. So it looks like they sell for about $30. But they're, or <laughs> they're listed for $30. None were sold. So as cute as Gigi and Fifi are for $8. We left them there. I think those would be really cute for a collector. And then somebody told me they like safety pin art. They noticed the safety pin art here last week. It was not there anymore, but I saw the safety pin art doll. So whoever you are, I don't remember. I'm very bad at remembering that you like safety pin art. If you want that doll, you can purchase that doll from me. I did not put it in the thrift box. Pam, should I have got this? love sweater for your puppy i forget the puppy's name cannot remember anything but definitely check out your pet supplies section there's a lot of money now these are boy underwears for puppies and i am going to scan it and check it out and see how much it sells for i believe they were priced at 250 each and they were listed for 15 to 20 and when i went to sold this is a multi-quantity listing so i'm scrolling down because i want to see how many they have sold and they have sold 65 for 19 dollars. but again this was a heavier one and for me to ship it to you it just would have added so much weight oh 375 so yeah at only 19 dollars sales price with free shipping it just was not worth it and you know i gotta check out the bags Always got to check out the bags. I don't know if that Louisville Slugger bag down there would have been worth anything. I honestly didn't see it until just now. That happens a lot. When you're in a thrift store, of course, there's a ton of stuff. It's overwhelming. I have not done what my good friend Dagny taught me to do and make a second walkthrough every time, but I probably should. Now, this is a Ninja Turtle toy. I was trying to see if I could see a year it was actually from 2016, so it was not that old. So I did not even try to look it up. That might have been a mistake. I'm not sure. These ducks are so pretty. And this is like lace on fabric. And I don't know. It's a green tag. It was like $2.50. I feel like it would sell for 20 to 30 maybe more. So I did decide to pick that up. We are finding some good stuff today. All right. Again, not feeling digging in the stuffed animals. <laughs> I've not been in a stuffed animal mood lately. Not sure why. I wanted to show you guys this wooden vintage trash bin. I think it was priced at 20. I will tell you, you could probably flip that local marketplace for about $60 and it would probably sell on eBay as well. So if you see like vintage wood, um, like bread baskets, those also do very well. Look at all the furniture. See, if I had room in my shed for furniture, I could come here and flip furniture. But I will tell you guys from experience, flipping furniture is very long tail. Some Ethan Allen pieces sell fast and some can take years. So if you want to sell furniture, you better have a lot of space. Look at all of the books. Just showing you all of the books. I do look, I don't know what I'm looking for, just anything that looks different. We're going to check out, this Columbia jacket was okay. Um, I believe their jackets are $4 though. And Tom's mini golf. 
a Nick Nicholas Ford that is local to me. So always look through the hats and see because most thrift stores hats are pretty cheap and they are cheap here, but I didn't see any that really caught my eye. But I love picking up hats. I am a fan of hats. Let's go see if we see anything else. I think what stood out to me here was this leather jacket, but when I looked at it, it honestly was a little bit worn. That is why I did decide to leave that there. And I'm the same way with clothes as I am with plush. I either feel like digging through it or I don't. And I did not that day. I like come here, let me look at like three pieces and then I'm over clothes. So if something doesn't really stand out, then I'm probably not going to get it. Here's another thing I wanted to show you guys. These lampshades are absolutely stunning. They were only $4 each. Again, they would make an oversized box, but if you're thrifting and see something like that, those would sell on eBay and they would probably sell on Facebook Marketplace as well. Just peeking at the shirts, I tend to go for like the black t-shirts because I think most Harley t-shirts tend to be black. So I, if I am not feeling digging through a lot, I will at least dig through the black t-shirts. But there was nothing interesting there. So listen, I, I cannot let go of the fact that there are two Merrill shoes in here that do not have matches. I was hoping maybe they magically appeared in the bin since the last week I was here. But they did not. There were no matchy matchies. So we are now going to check out the shoes. Let's see if we can find any shoes. And this is a store that I tend to find some pretty decent shoes at. Those I believe were Airwalks, but they just seems so plain i wasn't sure that they would do very well so i'm not seeing too too much that's catching my eye today but again i'm coming here every week so if something's here i tend to see it the expensive sketchers are gone though they are gone i saw these shoes here and they look really expensive and i was like well i might as well check them out and let's see if we can find anything. I think they were priced at like $20 or $25, but I don't know what shoes are worth 100 bucks. So the name is Donald Pliner. And when I put that in, it was mostly men's coming up. So I hit sold and it looked like they were going like $40 to $50. And I was trying to see if there was a model number or something like that I could look up. But unfortunately, there was not. So for $25, bucks, we left it there. Now, this is like their outdoor clothing rack. This does tend to be priced a little bit higher, but I'm always looking to see if I see any good name brands. And I had to show you the wedding dress. It was so pretty. I bet there's money in selling wedding dresses. I just don't know if I could do it. You obviously would need a full body mannequin. If anybody sells wedding dresses, let us know in the comments. And I am checking these purses out. Some purses, even if they look raggedy, if they're like a vintage coach or Chanel or Gucci, you could have a lot of money. And I always check out the scarves because they're typically a dollar. And if they're name brand, even basic name brands will sell for like 10 to $15. So for a dollar, they are pretty good flips. Just checking out more purses. So the purse prices are not horrible here. This one was priced at three but I did not see any purses that caught my eye. So we are gonna go over here and look at more purses. And then they had wallets down here. That one was kind of dirty inside. I do with purses, unless it's a very high brand name that would probably sell if it was you know, dirty or damaged, I tend to only pick up really clean purses so I don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to clean them. Now, I did not even notice these wigs sitting here, but I now see the price of $30. This dinosaur pouch was so cute, but I did decide to leave it there. 
So that one wig was at 30. These wigs comp out at 25 to 35. So keep your eye out for wigs, ladies. Keep your eye out. And gentlemen. Sorry, guys. All right, somebody wanted the picture. The one picture you wanted was gone. I'm so sorry. We're just peeking because they might put new little knickknacks in here, but you see I'm going pretty fast because most of the stuff I saw last time. And now we're checking in the case. They have what looks like really expensive makeup items in there. Unfortunately, they had them priced at like $15. And I searched, the name was Tasha. I'm not familiar with that. And they only sold for about 30. So at $15, there's just not enough room for profit. There was also a Melania Trump, but I couldn't find any comps on that. So I left those there. Now this beaded necklace in my hand, the white beaded one, there is a designer named Miriam Haskell who makes necklaces like that. But they're heavy and they sell for like a hundred bucks. So check your necklaces for tags with names and you're going to see me checking a bracelet again check to see if the stuff is marked if it catches your eye so i'm turning them around because normally the hang tags are near where the clasp is and this one did have one it's hard to see here with the camera but it was chico's brand which actually probably would do okay but they had it priced at eight dollars so i would only want to pay about two dollars for that i wouldn't want to pay anymore and i did see these vintage handkerchiefs i almost got them they were only three dollars but i'm i'm not sure why i felt like they were a little cheaper made even though i couldn't feel them they just looked cheaper again checking out the rings trying to see if anything's marked but none of the rings were marked and then i saw these pocket watches they might have even only been watch faces i did turn them over but they were pretty much all branded so i left those there christmas bulb i i did the christmas section last today that was just a bag of randomness of random ornaments but again check them you never know what's going to be in them and then a tree skirt but it was five which was a little more than i wanted to pay now this i love it's a little sweater stocking it says from santa with love the little one was cute too but it was a dollar so i did pick up the from santa with love one that was 50 cents but then i saw there was a price tag on top for two dollars and i'm like well what the heck so i did end up asking at the register and she actually gave it to me for the 50 cents. I was like, I don't know why. There were actually three price tags on that stocking. So when that happens, I always just ask them, like, which is the appropriate price? These are some little wax Christmas tree candles. I didn't research them. I'm not sure. If anybody knows if those are worth any money, definitely let me know. I was hoping those were Linux bowls, but they were not. They were just some generic bowls. So not much over in the Christmas section, but we definitely found some good stuff today. Let me show you. All right, so we did not do bad there. I spent right at $20, not counting the safety pin doll because I had somebody who likes safety pin art. So I'm going to hold that in case she wants it. And if she doesn't, I'll put it in the next thrift box. We got a discount. I use my discount card because they're switching to a new system. So this box is going to be $40. And those colostomy supplies sell really, really fast. So I'm really happy with them. And there's some really cool vintage picture frames and then the um, lace embroidery type. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow with another one. All right, so here is this lot. I got this really nice Christmas throw and the purse for $3, the Christmas tapestry purse. This ducks swimming with the cattails it's like a lace it's pretty cool this one was only 250 and then i got all these these are colostomy supplies so i paid two for these they should sell for about 25 same with these i paid two and i think they're 20 to 25 these should be fast sellers and then this m9 they were two dollars a bottle i got three but there were comps for 45 dollars on those i paid 50 cents for this stocking 
and then I paid two dollars each. These should sell for 25 to 30 a piece if not more I would research them and then this cute little I don't even know what this is. What is this thing? This cute little wicker basket was only 50 cents. Whoever told me you like safety pin art I got this for you if you don't want it I will add her to a future thrifting box. So overall I had I got a discount on some of this stuff so my total cost was only 20 dollars so this box will be 40 shipping will be 15 because it's going to be a bigger heavier box so you will pay 40 plus 15 and like those bottles are going to be 45 bucks fast this is going to be some good stuff especially the christmas stuff with christmas coming